Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our seventh bout of the evening. It is staying right here in the boxing ring, and it is set for three two-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting on the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Aaron Lopez. Up the middleweights, JR, 165 pounds. Bringing in the power, yes, sir. Lopez, the representative of A1 Boxing. Well, if you wanted entertainment, it certainly has been the case in the last few fights. Got Where else can you see an 0-1 fighter beat a 16-3 yeah. fighter? Got the tail of the tape here for this upcoming match. The younger fighter is Mr. Lopez. Also the shorter of the two at 5'7 versus 5'10. And less experience with a one and one record. Mr. Angel Mendez comes in the elder at 25. That sounds kind of funny. The to elder, say. huh? Yeah, it does. A little does. bit taller at 5'10 and definitely has the experience advantage of 4'2, but as you just referenced, we saw how much that might matter. That's the bigger boys that will throw some leather here for sure. Let's see if the red corner stays lucky in this one. And his opponent, fighting out of Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat of Denver Blue Corner, please welcome Angel Mendez. All right, here we go, Angel Mendez rolling into the ring again. Middleweights at 165, bringing in his posse. Mr. Mendez, another representative of House of Pain Boxing. We've seen a lot of their fighters here this evening. This middleweight boxing bout is brought to you by Lily's Cocina y Cantina. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting on the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Commerce City, Colorado, representing Mex Pro Boxing, Aaron El Guerrito Lopez. And across the ring, his opponent, out of the Larry H. Miller Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat of Denver Blue Corner, from Denver, Colorado, representing House of Pain Boxing, Angel Mendez. All right, gentlemen, I gave you instructions earlier tonight. I know it's going to be a great fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Questions out of the blue corner, red corner. Touch gloves, gentlemen, and let's fight. All right, let's do it. Lopez wearing the red gloves. Mendez wearing the blue gloves. 165-pound action. Three two-minute rounds in elimination boxing. Referee Tim Mills, third in the ring, calls him to the center. Punchy punch time. Big height advantage in this one, JR, for Angel Mendez. And you see that touching off that left. He's got some power. Both these fighters got I was some. Say Lopez willing to plant his feet and show some power shots. Yeah, both these guys squaring off big time in the this ring. This is a banger, yes indeed. It's like a fight in a phone booth. Nice jab as he comes in. Mendez using that reach, and I like it when he slides in with that jab. He's got some power. He's got to keep his head up, however. Lopez has got some heavy hands if he catches them right, JR. Yeah, both these guys throwing with real hard power here. See if they're able to keep that up throughout this fight. Lopez, quicker than you might think, short, stocky fighter, able to get out of the way fairly quick as he sticks, jabs, and moves. A couple jabs coming with the overhand right, misses with that overhand right, but he followed that jab. No shortage of aggression out of these guys. Mendez finding his shots as well. Both fighters have scored in this. More happy fans. 
<laughs> right cross misses by Lopez. But he's got good head, good head body movement. He does, and getting his shoulders into his punches as well when he's in tight, doesn't have full reach on his punches, makes up for it by body rotation. Nice snaps out that jab, good snap out of the jab. Mendez comes back trying to score. Lopez inside, gets inside, then back out, scores from the outside. Really close first round to call. Seconds out. Fun fight by these guys. Absolutely. Lopez in pretty good shape and moves well for a big man. Yes, he does. Boy, it heated up in here quick, didn't it? Got a lot more bodies in here. The Mills gives him a thumbs up. He likes it. Checking out the Larry H. Miller replay here. And Lopez stepping forward. Mendez, good job with his head and shoulder movement. Ducks a couple here in this series. Looks to come back over the top, gives a little head shake. I didn't see that real time. Yeah, these guys both just willing to stand and trade and say, hey, I'm, I'm willing to take a shot just to show I'm tougher than you and give one back. Yeah, both, either one of these fighters can show a little bit more accuracy. They've got enough power uh, to put somebody down on the canvas. Lopez is a little better shape than I might thought he might be. Mendez in the green trunks, Lopez in the black and gold. Boy, and both guys come out really, really fast again. If nothing else, even faster than round one. Sparta Combat League, Series 5, King of Sparta. Brought to you by Sparta in airtight boxing. Wow, look at the flurry at by flurry. both of these guys. Oh. Nice left and a right followed up by both fighters. Crowds getting on their feet. Left hand came in nicely for Mendez. Boy, Mendez and Lopez are throwing. Mendez is in great shape too. Both of these fighters were in shape for this. Certainly makes it fun for us. We'll take it. Mendez has got a little bit of blood starting to form, I believe. I don't know if that's from his nose. It's on the top of his lip, however. Couple overhand rights by Lopez. Mendez is standing in there banging. Boy, both these guys can take a shot. I mean, they've really eaten everything the other has to offer. Lopez throws out that right-handed jab and then follows up with a big left, another big left by Lopez. A couple of the best punches in the fight by Lopez right there. Mendez wears them well. Mendez comes back with a couple of rights. That's coming from downtown, came up through Main Street there and connected. Boy, these guys know they're in a fight, wow. It has not slowed down from the first bell, there's no doubt there. Lopez fighting backwards, good body movement, good head movement. Speaks well the gyms that these guys come out of, be able to be in this kind of shape as well as show the technical prowess that they have. 10 second clacker sounded, referee better be ready to jump in there. Yeah, because they're throwing, they're not gonna, Lopez scoring big at the end of that round. Hit three or four left and right combinations. We talked about combining your punches and not throwing single punches. Both these gentlemen have no problem. Yeah, these guys are throwing 30 punch combinations. Wow. <laughs> Larry H. Miller replay here. Lopez backed into the corner, but only momentarily. Comes out fire, and boy, that's like cornering a, cornering a rabid dog. Either one of these guys gets backed up a little bit, you know they're gonna come back and try to get it back. Mendez had some good moments in that round. This is a close fight to call. You have to be paid particular attention to how many punches are thrown, but how many are landing. And the effectiveness of them yeah. landing which is tough to distinguish considering the toughness of these guys. Absolutely. It's been a barn burner, and I think the third round will be just the same. I would expect no difference. Same thing, got a little bit of water in this corner. They want it wiped up.
All right, here we go. Third and final round. Both these fighters getting after it. Mendez in the black and green. Lopez in the black and gold. Lopez on the inside throwing. Wow. Scores to the left and a right. Again, left and a right. Mendez counters as well. Crowd's getting into this one. Lopez waves him on. Mendez answers. Mendez, both these fighters going after it. Lopez with the uppercut. Mendez continues to put the pressure on, leaning on Lopez. I just love the willingness to put themselves out there, knowing that if you're going to get into exchanges like these, you're going to take shots. Lopez stays right in there. You don't think he's going to back off at all. You know, for not having the reach advantage, he's done a great job, JR, avoiding major damage. That is very, very true, yes. And again, that'll speak to how great the gyms are that these guys train at. Only a minute left in this fight. I almost see, I'm almost sad to see this one go. I was going to say, well, both these guys interviewed in the winner's circle. It's going to be a close fight scorecard, I believe, too. Maybe a 29-28 fight. Uppercut landed well for Mendez in there. Lopez, of course, took it well. And it depends how you want to judge this fight. Do you like the counter punching of Mendez? Do you like the aggressiveness of Lopez? Yes. <laughs> oh, the answer is yes. And that's the problem, is yes. That's why we're not scoring it, JR. Lopez continuing to come forward and bash away, and Mendez. Happy to counter, 15 seconds left. This one's gonna go out like it came in. Lots of action, lots of leather, both from the red and the blue corner. Great and fight. Talk about your bite down on your mouthpiece. Stand and bang. Thank you, gentlemen, wow. both of you for this fight. Great fight, what the a crowd tremendous loves Tremendous three rounds of action. And Absolutely. the sportsmanship after. Love it. That was a great fight, man. Judges earning their money on this one. Checking out the Larry H. Miller replay here. And pretty much any 15 seconds of this fight, you can put on a highlight reel and know that you're gonna have some amazing toe-to-toe -to -toe action. These guys just, neither one of them willing to concede that the other was able to hurt them. And man, they took a lot of punishment because of it. Gary, who do you think won this fight? I'm looking at a fight of the year candidate here and I'm not gonna call it. Boy, both these fighters were outstanding in this one. I, it could go either way. Again, Mendes, I thought, was a better counter puncher. Big Mo has the official word. We'll wait for him to get into the ring. Jealous of that guy, always one of the first to know. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, this is going to be a close fight. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27. To come winner by unanimous decision, Aaron El Guerrero Lopez. And the red corner maintains their undefeated streak tonight. Congratulations, Mr. Lopez. Let's get that post-fight interview. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by our winner, Mr. Aaron Lopez. First off, have you caught your breath? Are you good? All right. Now, that was a pure slug fuss, slug fest, Aaron. Were you planning on having that be as uh, kind of a knock him out and drag him out fight? Um, to be honest, first of all, I want to thank God. Give me this victory today. Count me out safe. And, uh... I, I actually expected him to box me a little bit more, so that was a little surprise, but hey, man, we get ready for everything. Like a bra, like a box, whatever you want, bring it on. So with you saying bring it on, I'm curious, well, what's next? Hey, man, just stay tuned, all right? Um, keep going down our way. Keep taking these dudes out that are in front of me. It is what it is, man. Just work hard. Anything you want to say to your fans here tonight? Uh, I just want to say thank you to all my fans, family. My wife, my son, this is for you guys. Uh, my coaches, my sparring partners. It was a good camp, man. And I'm ready to come back. 
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner, Aaron El Guerrero Lopez. You know, I will say, JR, I, I expected a closer fight than a unanimous decision, but I thought both fighters gave everything they had, and I know that Lopez knows he was in a brawl. And that was a great fight. Like I said, boxing fight of the year candidate right there.